there's this new field called interruption science, and they've found it takes the average human being almost 25 minutes to recover from a phone call, but the average human being gets an interruption every 11 minutes now, so we're never caught up unless we consciously turn off the radio, as you said, or just try to catch a breath. And I've realized the big luxury for so many people now is just a little blank space in the calendar every day where you uh, collect yourself, I suppose. So when you ask what stillness gives to me, I'd say it's sanity and it's balance, and it's a chance to put things in perspective. And then we can come back to our lives with much more well, kindness and purpose and clarity. So are you talking about meditation? People I really admire and respect, probably including you, do meditate. I've been a bit too lazy to have a meditation <laughs> practice, but I do things just like you were describing. Um, when I'm at the health club, I try not to watch the TV. When I get into my car, I try to use that as an turn off the radio, as you did. Mm -hmm. When I'm waiting for my wife to come home from work and I don't know if it'll be one hour or two hours. I used to scroll through my emails, and I thought, just turn off all the lights and listen to some music. And I noticed I was so much fresher when I heard her footsteps on the stairs and said hello. I slept better, I woke up better. So just tiny, everyday things, just to clear some space in one's head and one's mind. Sister Joan Chittister encourages us to take a second look at the faith we thought we knew. It's not necessary for us to rethink the existence of God. We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence. 